Hello my fellow gamers, I'm your dude very high and if you remember my last video for GTA 5 modding essentials then you're definitely going to want to check this one out too because we're going to cover three very common and required mods for a lot of other mods. These are tools and scripts that other mods require in order to work. For instance, we're going to be using iFruit add-on 2. This enables things with the phone and the contact list to be functional in game. Next is native UI. Now native UI allows you to navigate menus in a very specific way native to GTA 5. Next is lemon UI. So this is a new UI library that a lot of mods are starting to use nowadays. All the links are of course are down in the description. And if you didn't know, scriptcookv.net has updated on October 5th of this year, 2021. So go ahead and download that too if you haven't because some mods have been using this updated version. Now let's talk about installation. Here on my desktop, you'll see I've got all three of these files downloaded. Lemon UI, iFruit add-on 2, and native UI at the bottom. I'm going to right click my start menu for Windows and click on File Explorer. This is going to open up a new Explorer page for me. And here I'm going to locate my C drive. Go to Program Files. And since I play on Epic Games, I'll be going to Epic Games. If you play on the Rockstar Games Launcher, you'll be clicking on the Rockstar Games folder. And if you're on Steam, make sure you open Steam, go to your game library, locate the GTA 5 game, right click it, locate properties, and then from there, you'll be able to locate the installation file. Now we'll go to Epic Games, <clears throat> GTA 5. Now we're in the main directory. All three of these files that we've downloaded, they go into our scripts directory. So that's what we're going to click on next. Inside of here is where we're going to place all of the files. So we'll start with installing Lemon UI first. We're not using the 5M version or the Rage plugin hook. We'll simply be using the SHVDN2 and SHVDN3 assets. So we'll open up the SHVDN2 folder select everything inside and all you have to do is drag that to your scripts directory. Once you've done that, we'll go back up and we'll click on the SHVDN3 folder. Same thing, we'll drag and drop those assets straight into our scripts directory and we are done with Lemon UI. Now we have iFruit add-on. All we need to do is simply drag and drop iFruit add-on into our scripts directory like so. And now we've got iFruit add-on. The last and certainly not going to be the least one day. Native UI. Simply select the files and again drag and drop just like that. And there you go folks. A majority of the mods that you're going to run into over time, they're going to require that you download those three key elements. And again, if you have not already and you would like to update your latest version of scriptsucv.net, Go ahead, download it, and once you get into the content within, all we need to do is simply drag and drop all of that into our main GTA 5 directory. So if you're still in your scripts directory, go back up a level to your GTA 5 folder. Simply drag your mouse to select everything, excluding the readme and the license. Do not select those. And then we'll just drag that straight on over to our main directory just like so once again i am your friend in the modding community for gta 5 i'm v3r to the whiz ie very high and until the next video for gta 5 guys i hope to see you don't forget to like comment and share this with a friend who doesn't know how to mod until then guys a peace